hello everyone welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up your first shopify store and let me just show you from the scratch step by step how you can uh, publish your first uh, shopify store so first of all so you just need to uh, go into your favorite browser and source for shopify and just go into this first link from uh, shopify.com so here you'll be able to see this option of uh, start free trial so just simply click on that one and you can just sign up with the google and let me just click on my Google account and let me just click on continue. So you can see the welcome message. So you can just uh, choose any one of them. So let me just click on an online store. And so I'm just starting. So click on get started. So here you can see the different uh, option for choosing the plan. So let me just skip this for now. So if you want to choose any of these ones, so you can just uh, simply go with that one. And let me just click on skip and I will decide it later. So you can see, so this is the dashboard or basic uh, admin panel for Shopify store. So if you just click onto this online store, so you will be able to see these themes here. So you can see by default, you will be able to see this down theme. So if you want to customize or if you want to change, so you can just simply click on add theme here and visit the theme store. And so here you will be able to see all the free as well as uh, the paid one. So let me just uh, close it for now. So I will be going with the default one. So you can see uh, popular free themes here as well. So you can just simply see them and if you like them you can just simply click on add so you will be able to uh, choose these themes as well so now let me just simply click and customize so you can see so this is the basic theme so which we are able to see so if you click here so on image banner so you can just change this image banner by clicking here simply and you can just uh, click and explore free image or you can just choose your own image as well let me just simply choose this one from here and let me just scroll down here and you, let me just choose this one so you can just uh, change this text as well here you can see the option for changing the text so we will just change these uh, later for now let me just add some products so for that let me just uh, click and exit so you can see that this has been automatically saved so let me just click and exit and here so you can see the product section so you can just simply add the products from here so let me just click and add product and let me just try to add something like a uh, winter jacket for men. And let me just copy this one. And you can see the option for directly generating the text. You can just simply click on generate text and simply paste this winter jacket for men and click on generate. So this will generate the text. You can just simply click on keep. So you can see this cover ultimate one and whatever. So like this is the auto generated text. And similarly, you can just upload this media as well. So if you just click onto this upload new, you can just choose the image whatever you want so i have already got these images so i will be adding so you, you can just uh, you get some images and you can add it here and here you can see the price so let me just uh, put it something like 100 120 and if you just go below here so you can see the variance so you can just click on this add option like size and color so you can just choose the variant between color size is group so let me just go with this size and here you can just add the size let me just add 3xl and 4xl click and done so you can uh, choose the image between 3xl and 4xl so if you just click here so let me just choose these three as like 3xl and this image as 4xl and you can just add how many jacket uh, you have i have four i have three of these and so you can see the green and black so this is automatically generated so uh, if you don't uh, see this as green so you can just change this one from here as well so i think uh this is more like brown brown and so you can just see you can uh, choose the gender age group and you have different options so let me just click and save so this will save the jacket so if i just go back here so you can see winter jacket for men so i will do the similar thing for uh, jacket for women as well so let me just click on add product so i will just simply do the same thing So here you can see, so I have added these uh, four products, one hoodie and jacket for men, jacket for women and winter shoes for men. So if you want to uh, add some of the products under the same collection, like for men, so we would be putting this uh, 
winter jacket and winter shoes for men's collection so to create the collection you can just simply go into this collection here just below this product and here so we already have this home page let me just delete this one we don't need this one and you can just simply click onto this create collection and here so let me just type main and inside main so we will just uh, put some description like uh, clothes and shoes for men or you can just put the description of the collection you want and here you can uh, source the products like uh, this one and this one so click on add so we just want these two products to be displayed under the man collection and you can just uh, add the image as well for demo let me just put this one something like this jacket and click on done so you can just put any image as well so let me just click and save and if I just go back here, so you can see under main collection, there are two products. And similarly, let me just create another collection under which we will uh, put some women clothes and jacket uh, for women. So let me just say something like clothes and shoes for women. And let me just add one image. So let me just add this image and source product. So we only have one for women. So let me just click on add and click on save. And let me just go back. Let me add another collection. Let me call it unisex. And here, so let me just type clothes and shoes for both men and women. And let me just add this hoodie. Click and done and save. So this would create another collection. So we have already added these four products and we have created three collections. So if you want to add more products, so you can just do it from here and you can just add into the any one of the collection. So on unisex uh, collection, so we haven't added any products. You can just simply click on browse and this is the unisex hoodie. And let me just click and add. So if I just go into the collections here, so under men, so we have two products. Under woman, we have one product and under unisex, we have one product. So we can add as many as we want. So once this is done, so let me just go into this online store again and let me just click and customize. So if you just go down here, you will be able to see feature products already here. So, but instead of feature products, so we just want the collection to be displayed here. So you can just simply click on feature collection and click on the remove and under this banner, so you can see the option for adding the section. So just click on add section and we just want to add the collection list. So click on collection list and here so let me just choose one of the collection so let me just choose men and let me just choose woman here and here let me just choose the unisex and let me just go back here so if i just save and if i just click here and click on view you can see so this is how our store looks like so if i just click on main so you can see we have two products and if i just again go to the home and go under this woman so you can see winter jacket for women. And if I just go into the unisex, so you can see the hoodie here. So this is how it looks. So once this is done, so we just want this collection or uh, these things to be displayed under this navigation as well. So here you can see now we have home catalog and contact. Uh, so we just want this to be changed as well. So to do that, you can just simply go back and exit. And here, so you can see on under this online history, you can see the navigation. Just click on that one and click on main menu. So you can see home catalog and contact. So let me just delete this catalog. We didn't need it. And so we can just delete this contact as well. So if you want, you can just skip that as well. So let me just click on add menu item. And here, let me just call it main. And so we just want the collection main to be displayed under the uh, main menu. So let me just click on add and similarly, let me add woman and just click on collection and click on woman and similarly just type unisex so just type unisex collection and click here click on add and if you just click on save so you can just save menu from here as well so if you just click onto this online store from here view your online store so you can already see so you can see the option of main so you can see you can directly go from this navigation bar as well so this is how you can change the navigation menu option and similarly so under any store so we we need to add the policies as well so now to add the policies just go into the store again go back here so, so under this navigation so you can see the under the footer menu so we only have sorts just click onto this footer menu and here you will be able to see add menu item and here so let me just click here under the policies and here you can see we have only privacy policy for now let me just click and add and save menu 
and if I just reload this one already here so you can see the privacy policy which is automatically generated here so let me just go back and let me just add other policies as well so to do that we just need to simply go into the setting and if you just go into these policies at the bottom of this setting so just go into these policies return and refund policy here just click on that one and insert the template or if you want to change any text so you can just do that as well and similarly let me just insert template for terms of service and for shipping policy uh, so we didn't have any so we can just type the demo text like shipping policy so you can just add your own and for contact information we can add something like contact number uh, plus one so you can just add you uh, or you can just see uh, there is insert template as well so you can see this is automatically generated so you can just simply click on publish so now if I just close this one and again go into the footer from navigation so you can just see on the footer menu so now we will be able to add other policies as well so if I just go here and click on policies so you can see now we have terms of service let me just simply add and let me just go into the policies again click onto this refund policy add another policy which is contact information as well so we have this shipping policy as well so let me just click and add and let me just drag this above here so that contact information will be at, at last and let me just simply click and save and if I just go into my store so you can see we have refund policy so we have terms of service so we, we have the policies as well so let me just again go back to this admin panel here and if I just go into the store here again and let me just customize this one so let me just customize so if you just go into this section so at the bottom so you can see the footer section so let me just click on add block and let me just simply click on menu so you can see so we already have these quick links from here so let me just save this one and if you just click here click on view so now we can see our uh, store is looking beautiful so this is how you can create your store so at the top you can see we have this welcome to our store announcement bar as well so you can, if you don't want to keep this one you can just simply click on at the top announcement bar and you, you can delete as well or you can hide so I don't want to display this one so I can just simply uh, hide this one and save so you can see so this has been hidden from the store as well so this is how you can create your uh, Shopify store so now let's jump into the other options so let me just simply go into the my store here so we haven't added this logo as well so to add logo so you can just simply click on my store to change the logo you can just go back here and click on theme setting so you can see the logo and so here you can see you can just select the image so let me just simply create one logo from Canva so you can just make use of this one to create a logo so let me just accept the cookie so let me just uh, click on maybe later not now so let me just source something like clothing logo so here you can see different logo designs so you can just uh, choose any one of them from here so we don't want to use the paid one we just want to use the free version so you can just see this is the free one so let me just type something like elite elite fashion so let me just simply download this one and let me just download the first page only so click and download and if I just go into my store again here and click and select image and click and add image so let me just click and open and click and done so you can see we have already changed the logo here so you can just uh, adjust the size of the logo you want so I just want to keep it like this or you can just you know like change the size of the logo so that you know it will be adjusted well now if I just reload my store so you can see the logo has been changed as well and now so let me just show you how you can just set up the payment and domain and all so let me just go into my store and click on exit here and click on setting so here you will be able to see the different options like uh, for payment so you can see so you just have to uh, fill all the details so you can just click on complete account setting and so this will be asking you to submit a lot of details so you just have to uh, choose if you're individual or non-profit organization so 
you just have to simply insert your details and you will be able to add the payment information and similarly so you can just uh, set up the shipping rate so you can just click under this uh, shipping and delivery so you can see how you can set up the uh, different shipping rates so on the basis of product uh, customize on the basis of locations for local delivery or pickup store so you can just explore a lo lot of options here and if you want the taxes so you can just you know like choose according to the country and so once you do all the things so at last to publish your page so you just need to simply go into these domains and so if you already have the existing domain so you can just uh, connect it from here but like if you want to buy the new one so you can just simply click on buy new domain and you can just simply uh, source like elite fashion so this is available so you can just you know like get it for 16 us dollar per year so you can just simply click and buy and so you you just need to fill up all the details and you will be able to publish your page as well so this is how you can create your first shopify store from scratch thank you so much for watching if you like the video be sure to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one